Hey, welcome back to Two Super Guys Trade Stocks. I'm Dylan. And I'm Vinny. This video has nothing to do with stocks. If you're only here for stocks, click past this. I don't want to bother you. Um, I just don't understand why the fuck this is not on the news. And I just, I don't understand. So just want to make a quick video about it. This is not our usual thing. Just, yeah. All right. Well, I have absolutely no idea what this video is about. <laughs> if you want to hear about two guys that uh, medical professionals by day and stock traders on YouTube by the night and weekend, uh, like dark calculators, uh, then go ahead and give us a like and subscribe below. We'd love to have you along this little stupid little adventure of ours. <laughs> when, when I even do the video, because it's for stocks. Um, so why, Dylan, are you, you doing this? Right, that's a fair question. Um, once again, if you want to see this, skip it. That's fine. I'm expecting 20 views. Um, classified UFO videos would harm national security if released, Navy says. This just happened um, kind of like three, four days ago. Do you know who these people are? The guy in the back with the sweater on looks kind of familiar, but I, I, I don't know his name. I, I don't can't place the guy in the front with the suit. Okay. So the guy on the left is Bob Lazar. He made yeah. some fairly what seemed like outrageous comments in like the 80s and now a lot of it's coming true and it's like oh man was this guy maybe telling the truth the whole time the guy in the red didn't he work, um he, you could he easily for, like, say north of grumman right or what? something he worked for like north of grumman and like skunk works like he was involved in like uh the blackbird development or something crazy like that i if i'm remembering the right guy bob lazar no yeah he worked at like s4 um and and a place in los alamos okay okay um maybe they're the same i'm not an expert on this stuff good yeah this this guy on the right is honestly more compelling because he's not a ufo guy um this is commander fravor um he is one of the first videos that was released to the navy in 2004 with uh i think there's six no three other pilots also witnessed it and it was caught on every single instrument. It was the, the first thing that was like visible and kind of got media attention. And it's mm -hmm. funny because he doesn't do UFOs at all. He makes fun of it a lot. Hmm. But okay. we're going to talk about it. All right. Yeah. So the uh, after. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So the Black Vault, which is a, a government transparency site. Uh, filed a Freedom Information Act request one day after the Navy declassified three infamous videos shot by Navy pilots, he was one of the pilots, showing a high-tech craft moving in impossible ways. Okay? okay? This impossible way was there was no heat on the aircraft. It dropped from 80,000 feet to sea level in one second, um, and there's no propulsion system. So it, it was, it looked like it was moving via gravity, right? I, your face is the face you should have. Face. Yeah. Yeah. That makes no sense. I, I mean, I do have a science degree, I guess, in undergrad, but it was biology, not yeah. uh, physics. I get it. I'm with you. Um, so this is the letter from the director. Uh, the release of this information will harm national security as it may provide adversaries valid information regarding DOD, Navy operations, yada, yada. Basically, they're saying, hey, man, the UFO part is also like there's, I don't know, a battleship in the background. So we can't show it to you. Mm. Okay. Sure. It would harm national security. All right. Uh -huh. Now, this is a very interesting time for UFO people. All right. They had the first hearing in May 2022 because Congress was getting word of all of these which, incidents, okay? Uh -huh. Not saying alien. Incidents of okay. UFOs or UAPs, meaning unknown aerial phenomena, happening quite frequently. Um, so they essentially brought the hearing up. Um, there is 144 cases at the time, 143 were completely unexplained. One was a balloon. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> I don't say with me. So the three video clips that were released that are uh, terrifying. Um, 
dubbed Fleer Go Fast Gimbal. Um, it showed what I showed you. The Pentagon confirmed the footage was authentic and captured by the U.S. Navy. Um, they go into it was captured on uh, multiple different sensors. I don't know the names, but it was radar, infrared, SP something, and visual sight. Okay. Um, the gimbal video, I believe, is the one that had like 70 eyewitnesses. All Navy. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. This gets a little terrifying. All right, because mm -hmm. one of them was also saying that they were trans medium. It dropped from eighty thousand feet, went all the way down to the water, went in the water, and then oh. came back up. Wow. Okay. Right. Um, here is uh, the video is so fast. I just did a screenshot of it, but uh -huh. they all say that they're the same. They're all orbs. Right? Okay. Either orbs or cubes. I won't go into what Bob Lazar stuff. There's a pretty fascinating Joe Rogan uh, Spotify thing on this. But okay. it's just weird. I don't like it. So Brady, he's the deputy director of Naval Intelligence, said the number of UAPs officially cataloged by the newly formed Pentagon Task Force has now grown to 400. We have no material saying they're alien. But then he said 80% of them uh, were recorded on multiple instruments. Okay. That's the gross part. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, now, just to talk about, if you don't know, Commander uh, Favor, Fravor, I think, he was, on, he was on Rogan, and he was talking about how he used to kind of like shit on UFOs, and when they would do night training sessions... Um, he said that you can wear night vision goggles and you can see fires over the coast, coast of uh, California, people camping. Okay. He used to turn his lights off and zoom fairly close to them and then bank. So then the air would push the fire out and then they uh -huh. would get a bunch of UFO calls. So he's like, I used to cause these calls. <laughs> like I, That's and it wasn't. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Now I want to be a Navy pilot. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I used to cause these, right? And it wasn't just me. It was kind of just a funny thing to do to people camping. So mm. he, he, he went on to then describe what he called a tic tac. And he described it as if you put a ping pong ball in a glass and this is the alien thing he was going out for a training exercise they called it off they then got from like fleet com or whatever saying hey we have an unidentified flying object it keeps on happening in the same area you guys are out near it i want to go check it out so he okay. goes he has his backup flight or chilling up here okay so he goes down towards it he literally described it as like a 40 foot craft but moving so fast like a ping pong ball in a glass, and then it mimicked him, and then just just like went so fast he couldn't even see it, and it was just gone. And on the instruments, they just lost it. They couldn't move fast enough. But they all had sight of it. I'm not seeing this alien. That's what everyone goes to. I don't, I don't know what it is. I have no idea. Yeah. Well, why the fuck is this not in the news more? Why, if Biden sneezes, do we have to talk about it for three weeks? And then, like, how is this not getting more attention? There's so many weird things that should be on the news. I feel like this should be one of them. Like, why are we not investigating this? Like, like even, like, the whole, like, world. Just be like, hey, let's just come together and see what we've all seen, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I don't have a, a good explanation for you. I mean, yeah, the two thoughts that immediately come to mind. One, you know, from a, a straight law of numbers, that there probably are aliens, as in, like, life on other planets. In the oh, world. for sure. The universe is too huge. It's too ridiculous. But the, it's unlikely that many of them are, uh, you know, like, superior beings, right? Like, they're probably still bacterial states, right? Because we're pretty close to, like, the center or origin of the universe, so... You know, this this kind of solar system has had more time to mature and produce like uh, life than uh, many of these outlying kind of more distant planets oh, would have had. Center? Yeah, we're kind of closer to the center of the universe. Mm -hmm. 
like um, scale that though because wow. like the, it's massive because I'm pretty sure we have like a thousand light years to our right that's closer. Sure. I mean, yeah, the, the, I, I can't exactly say we're, we're definitively in the center. This is not like a... No, I want a latitude, uh, longitude, Vinny, of the universe. <laughs> but the idea being that, you know, if you're talking about uh, evolution and kind of this the random genetic walk, that it would, you know, be a higher likelihood that older civilization or older, older kind of terrestrial places will have a better likelihood of having life, right? That's just how it's going to go. It's yeah. going to be an age-dependent thing. For the most part, there's some randomness, and but we're going to be probably more on the evolved end of the spectrum than many other life forms that would be exist in the universe. I All think right. so that, that's one thought about that's the alien. Dependent on the chemical makeup of the planet. Mm, okay, that's. I mean, from the life that we understand here, um, it's hard to imagine there are a whole lot of other alternatives. You know, it's hard to imagine you're going, planes. Yeah, I know. Every time I see one of those things fly overhead, I'm like, man, that is an amazing machine. Um, 300 years ago I, wasn't a thing. I agree. I, I'm just saying that I'm skeptical of that angle. Now, I am also uh, well aware or uh, have followed some of like, the history of like you know, that Skunk Works production of like you know U.S. Um, advanced kind of fighting technology. When you're talking about the SR-71 Blackbird and the F-117 South and B-2 Bomber, um, the B-2 Bomber is like what 1980s technology at this point. Can you imagine what they've evolved in 40 years since then? So I'm not saying they're flying around 40 foot pills, but <laughs> right. Well, so the problem is the technology is all. I get what you're saying because if you saw a stealth bomber. You're, it's going to look alien. Like, it doesn't look like any plane I've ever seen in my life. And that was like the 90s. It, it doesn't yeah. look like a plane. It looks weird. I could That's easily see... decades old. Yeah. I could easily see that in the sky and be like, all right, I could get why people think that's an alien. It's just us. But I get it. The, the thing is, is there was no heat. So the yeah. ocean was colder, warmer than the object. And the object was moving incredibly fast with no propulsion. That is the weirdest aspect. Meaning the only thing that could do that would be gravity. Once again, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is not I, not my area. I just yeah. don't understand why we're not putting more resources to this. Like, I mean, what what would you do? Like, you know, just just deploy more random sensors around the Earth, like waiting for it to come near you. Like, like how would you put more resources towards it? Um, I'd probably do whatever, like, Commander Fravor says. It's like, I, I guess what he had been told is that this happens a lot, but they don't even, like, spend the gas to go investigate. Okay. I'm down to just spend the gas to go investigate. I think that sounds fair. Yeah, okay. I, I think that that's reasonable. I yeah. Mean, there's no, you know, what, what is the downside of them spending a little bit more kind of fuel to go out there and actually like you know look at some of these disturbances because you just you know more we, scientific ga uh, data gathering i get that we're about to spend like a trillion dollar getting rid of like 10k of loans for people that won't solve the problem i think we could just throw a little bit of that at this thing and just i don't know, see what we get i don't know yeah I, hey, i'm down with that gonna get one of those like a little like money guns you know it shoots like dollar bills everywhere yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for the two people still watching, once again, I don't know what I'm talking about. And this is not stocks. Sorry. Yep. Later, guys. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll answer any comments or questions down below. So let us know what you guys are thinking. Yeah, later. <laughs>